a new day dawns at the Karolinska Institute. And the students are arriving. Normally, they'd be here to attend lectures and seminars. But today, this is not the case. The new students have arrived at the Institute. And they have a difficult time ahead of them. It is vital that they gain the support and trust of the old students if they are to survive. For several weeks every year, the old students enter a hibernation period. During the Tenta Plug, students have been known to survive solely on kaffe or kabule alone. It is a highly desired source of energy and it is coveted by the older students whenever it can be found, especially if it's free. <laughs> the cell slate is approaching. It is an excellent opportunity for the cubs to impress the older students with their creativity. But more importantly, by giving them kaffe or kbule. As the hour approaches, more and more students begin to arrive. They are eager and determined to be the first to get their hands on the prize. They have arrived early and are likely to succeed, but others won't be so lucky. This student missed the train this morning and he won't arrive in time. It is unlikely that he will survive the winter. Suddenly, the cafe or bulle arrive and the feeding frenzy begins. It is a frightening display of nature's brutality and indifference. The smaller students will have to wait their turn. As quickly as it began, it's over. Most students will leave here today content now they won't have to eat again for another two hours. But the late arrivals will have to make do with the scraps that were left behind. Today the students have had to fight for their survival and most of them have won. As for the cubs, they have succeeded in securing the support of the older students. And for now, they are safe. Next time, it will be their turn to get free kaffe or bulle. And for many years to come, they will continue to play their part in the circle of life at the Karolinska Institute. I am young David Attenborough, and this is the CNN.